AI videos can be very laggy and mostly to even generate higher resolution videos means you need to consume or burn through high number of credits which isn't a very exciting thing. How about if there is a way to take a small AI file like this and convert it to something like this. That is what I'm going to be sharing with you today because there's a new tool in town which can do a lot by helping us upscale this without losing quality at the same time helping us to solve the frame interpolation problems. If all this sounds impossible, wait till I take you through the interface of this software called Uniconverter. If all this sounds interesting, sit back, relax, let's get into it. All you need to do is to go to Wondershare's website and make sure you download the latest version of Uniconverter to be able to follow along. And oh, even though they do have a free plan, in order to enjoy the full suite of softwares embedded in this particular one software, I would do encourage you to go ahead and subscribe and get some credits. I mean, AI credits. Once you have that, we go ahead and open Uniconverter. We can do a lot of things within just this one-stop software. So all we need to do here is just to click on Video Enhancer. And then over here, we now go ahead and import our file. We have two ways of doing this. You can simply click on the Add Video button and select the video wherever it is and then click on Open and automatically it will be imported into the software. Alternatively, you can simply just go to where the folder is just find the video file, drag it, and then bring it into the software and drop it in. Those are the two key ways you can get videos into Video Enhancer. And to our right here is our main concern. Choose an AI model. Do we want to do face enhancement or probably we want to denoise or even do frame interpolation or even anime enhancement? The power is in your hands. For the purposes of this video, what we are going to do is to restore the quality then from there, we would bring the same video back and then we do a frame interpolation on it to make sure that the video isn't choppy when playing back. So let's start with quality restoration and then one amazing thing about Uniconverter is that once you hover your mouse around, it will tell you exactly what that feature means. So to our left here, we can see enhanced video quality with just one click to make videos clearer. It means Uniconverter by itself will offer short tutorials alongside just teaching you how to use the software in the right way. So after selecting this model, all we need to do is to come down here, click on this little arrow. We can then select exactly where we will want to save this video file. So I would want to save it in this Wondershare folder. So all I need to click on is just select folder. Just click on export all. Then it will tell you that the export tax has been created. Just click on confirm. And then right there is going to start the quality restoration process. And so once it is done, we can simply click on open file location and it will take us to where we did the conversion to. So the main concept here is that we had an AI video, we enhanced the quality and then now what we need to do is to bring back that same video that we just enhanced the quality and now use it for the upscaling. All we need to do is to come here to the face enhancement and then we have an option. We can upscale this two times or we can upscale this four times. It all depends on what you want. So for me, let's upscale it two times and then once again, we come down here, select the folder where we would wish to save this, say select and then all we need to do now at this point is to click on export all. Confirm and then we now wait for the video to increase from a smaller size to twice the original size that we initially started with. You can see the exporting process. So we just wait for it to complete. And now after that, the cherry on top of the cake, we are going to bring back that same video file and now sort out the frame interpolation. Now, the cherry on the cake, after all this, if we want to solve the laggy situation, we can simply come back here again, pick that enhanced video, bring it back in here and then all we need to do is to click on frame interpolation and then we can go ahead and click on the fps so if we want this to be very smooth we can click on 60 frames per second and then once again select the folder where we want to save it in and then click on select folder and then right from there we come again and click on export and then we wait for it to do 
it's magic and beyond all this it can be a very frustrating experience when you run into the situation where you are playing the video and it is very laggy whilst editing now my recommendation here is that you can simply convert it to another format which is going to make playback very smooth now if you are on a windows computer i'll recommend something different and if you are using a mac i'll recommend something different but all this is still embedded in this particular software that is why i think it is your one-stop shop if you do a lot of these kind of processes so all we need to do now is just to get back to the home and then we see this converter button down here we come to the converter and just click on add files or once again we can easily just drag and drop in our case i'm just going to drop in this footage here click on open and then the footage is imported i'm just going to click on this mp4 here and then if you are on windows i will suggest that you use this cineform cineform is going to allow your computer to be able to play this footage very smoothly and you're going to have the best form of editing experience or if you're on mac alternatively you can use prores over here so prores 422 and then you have the chance to select whether you want to do 1080p or you want to do 720 the power is in your hands and then once you are done all you need to click on is convert and then wait for the results alternatively if you're doing batch just drag everything pull them here and then everything would load and now instead of individually clicking here to change the file format you rather just come down here and say convert to and then you can go through the same process here the difference is that whatever changes you are making here right now is going to automatically affect all the videos select the folder where we want and then all we need to do is just to click on all this is as easy as it gets guys all of a sudden the editing that looked like this will simply become something like this a whole world of a difference guys all in uni converter i do hope this video was helpful do let me know if you have any further questions in the comment section below and i will certainly catch you in the next video